Good morning. 2018 was another very successful year for Leamington Motors. Despite volatile market conditions and unfavorable currency effects, we managed to secure a new record for sales and net profits. Despite heavy investment into tomorrow's mobility, we were also able to record the highest ever earnings before tax and interest. Here at the Leamington Motors headquarters in Coventry, we're very proud of the strong heritage of this brand. From the first model in 1927, built at our Coventry factory, to the current generation of Air, we're proud of leading the industry. We were the first company to fit our cars with airbags as standard in 1973 and are again leading the industry with being the most profitable premium electric vehicles company on the market. But all this would not have been possible without the hard work of our senior management and staff. Today we'll be talking to some of our senior staff about how they assess the future of the brand. I'm very honoured to be here today with April. April is our marketing director and I want to ask you the first question today. How do you assess the future of the car industry in the UK? Thanks, Harry. Yeah, our car industry is currently going through a pace of unprecedented technological change and must master these highly challenged conditions. While the industry is, has grown by 5%, tougher environmental regulations have also forced several competitors to invest into battery-powered vehicles and we predict this trend to continue in the future. In fact, the revenue of electric cars in the industry is expected to raise 12% over the next five years, and the industry outlook of electric cars is very positive. According to the preference of various markets, we are currently operating a fully electrified portfolio of premium vehicles. And our range of cars includes the air convertible car aimed at HNWI and the premium BIS executive car that is trusted by leaders around the world. To increase the market share, we will continue to spend most money on training and service and TV advertisements with maximum marketing expense for specific products as soon as it is launched. Also, we will relaunch the full electric car in the near future. There are four car companies operating in the automotive industry, and we currently have 34.5% of the market share in the total car industry, and are market leaders in the executive car sectors, in terms of both car and electrification. Our strongest growth is definitely the Asian market, with a strong focus in China, which we expect to continue growing at a steady pace of 7% over the next five years. Sometimes I wish our founder, Sir Frank Witt, will be able to see the success of the company right now. So Madalena, as head of innovation, where do you see the future of the company? Well, first and foremost, we think we have found the right niche for our company in, in the electric vehicle industry which focus mainly on executive and convertible models that we have the first mover advantage to build the brand awareness. On the other hand, it is also a blue ocean market while facing little competition. Compared with our competitors, we are both more advanced from electrification point of view and also with regards to our engine power. Our product portfolio is more complete, which consists of vehicles that are both available in two types of engines, the higher powered 180 kilowatt and the medium range 100 kilowatt engine, which can fully meet all kinds of consumer demands. In terms of the future, we plan to expand our production in Asia, who has the biggest potential of growth for the long-term future. Considering the market preference and compactor company's current products, we plan to invest in autonomous vehicles by gradually replacing our existing products with ones that equip with level 4 autonomous driving capabilities in the next 5 years, with expected 5% increased total market share. This results highlight some important points. First, we think in terms of opportunities and are pursuing a well-defined strategy. Second, we are combining tomorrow's mobility with sustainable profitability, underlined by the fact that we are capable of generating a high pre-tax margin on group level, even in volatile times. 
Thanks, Magdalena and April, for the fantastic insights. But these are some of the more openly visible business functions at Leamington Motors. But what goes on behind the scenes is what really makes this company perform at world level efficiency. So now I'd like to introduce Lisa, our Head of Operations, and Ejing, Head of HR. Lisa, I'm going to ask you the question first. How do you think Leamington Motor can best take advantage of the opportunities in the market? Well, for instance, we found that we could significantly decrease production costs by producing um, all our best series models in Europe. Thus, we can increase um, our economics of sales by producing um, an additional product line um, in the same factory. Also, we were able to reduce um, our shipping costs by producing the products um, in the factory located within the highest demand. Over the last two years, we have managed to decrease our costs by nearly 40%. Um, in terms of the future, we plan to expand to additional electric cars product lines, especially in Asia, where we have expected the highest preference. Further, we plan to invest in two product lines for autonomous cars in Europe and US market. The question is um, always how to operate these factories at maximum efficiency and I'm so glad to work with you. Thank you, Lisa. Our human resource strategy is mainly based on the aspiration to increase utilization of each factory. For our position in the market, it is absolutely vital to have the best of. That is why we believe in offering attractive salary packages. As you know, quite recently, the workers' union began striking all around the UK, but there were no big strikes at Leamington Motors, as we highly value the skills that every single one of our employees employ every day, and we believe a fair payment of salary and training costs is one of the extrinsic key for motivation improvement and high staff retainment. This strategy also reduces our training costs in the long-term future, as higher skilled staff don't require too much training. In the first place, we usually try to mix higher skilled staff with younger staff to provide the best opportunities for on-the-job learning. Our innovative approach to staff motivation has also placed us in the top spot for most popular graduate employers in the UK amongst other leading companies, such as BAE Systems and Google. High motivation and qualification of staff boost the labor productivity, thus increase capacity utility of the factory. The staff cost of each car also decreased due to productivity maximization. Our strategy has seen Leamington Motors become one of the biggest UK car companies. And I want to invite you now to meet some of the bright minds at our financial department who really are the driving force behind our profitability. So I'm standing here next to Wenjin and L. I want to ask Wenjin first, what do you think about the financial future of Flamington Motors? Well, of course, we hope to see a continuation of our past success. We believe our current portfolio has the potential to significantly, positively affect our KPIs. The introduction of the air has shown strong growth momentum, and we expect to see this driver of our revenue continue to rise. We are expecting to see our revenues growing to 4.6 billion euros in the coming year with 1% growth rate per annual. This really shows how the R&D investment that we undertook in the previous years is beginning to pay off. And we expect to see our EBIT margin continue to rise to 22% over the next few years for the improved revenue and cost control. Exactly. Access to cheap financing is really vital for our performance and future investment. We hope to secure beneficial refinancing options due to our A credit rating. Our financial situation will continue to improve and our debt ratio has decreased below the industry level, keeping below 54% in the last year, where we expect to see a whack of under 8%. And as a result of the confidence in our performance, our share price has achieved an increment last year. We expect our share price will reach 150 euros per share in the next three years and keep it. We also expect to see a continuation of our current revenue performance, which would also decrease our liquidity risk. We need to consider our risks and ways to mitigate them. 
So now I'd like to introduce Harry, our risk director, who will share his insights on the risk scenario of Leamington Motors. Well, Leamington Motors has enjoyed significant growth in the electric car market, particularly our air and biz models, as they have no direct competitors. However, if our competitors launch similar products, this may saturate the market and our competitive advantage would be lost. In order to mitigate against this risk, we must conduct comprehensive market research and competitor analysis. Furthermore, in order to maintain our dominance in this market segment, we may have to be open to the possibility of lowering our prices. Changes in government subsidies for electric cars pose one of the most significant risks to our long-term performance. The majority of governments around the world favour electric cars due to their reduced carbon footprint. However, there is no guarantee that these subsidies will be granted at the same time and the same extent in different markets in the future. To mitigate against this risk, we plan on diversifying our revenue streams. For instance, we have recently entered into a joint venture with a leading car sharing company, and we plan to include a new range of autonomous cars. As I'm sure you're aware from the news of the recent cybersecurity scare, all major businesses face serious risks associated with data protection, including damages to brand image and litigation. Leamington Motors values our clients' data security as a top priority, and to ensure we maintain our high standards, we will be hiring leading IT consultants to strengthen our data security and construct best practice standards to ensure all personnel are conscious of keeping data safe. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this little insight into Leamington Motors. We hope to see you here again next year. And now it's time for me to grab a little coffee. Yeah, but then, I mean, the thing is, we all know the market, we've all done the market, we all kind of know what's going on. So if we look at risk challenges and uh, risk overcome, we, you know, we can, uh, if, if they focus on risk challenges, they will know uh, exactly how they can overcome them. Yeah, they, they do them. So if we look at market analysis and the opportunities and the strategies, yeah. you know, that's, that, that makes sense, right?下课了，十点的学校，晚上十点。哦，还有天黑要穿。Hello there. <laughs> 早上好。早上好。晚安。晚安。